So I'm about to say some shit that's probably gonna piss off a lot of fucking people. But quite frankly, I don't fucking care who it pisses off. Whether it's the government, whether it's trolls, whoever it is. I don't fucking care. Because these are things that need to be fucking changed. First off, we need to get rid of our goddamn government. Because to be quite honest, the president don't run the country. The government does. The president don't run the country. He ain't even the motherfucking leader. Our current president is a pawn. He's a fucking joke. And you know what's funny? They say that we have freedom of speech. No, we fucking don't. If we truly had freedom of speech, then why are we not allowed to state our opinions on social media without getting shadow banned? Therefore, we truly don't have freedom of speech. Anybody that speaks the fucking truth against what somebody else likes, against what these corporate corporations like. When we speak out against them, guess what? We get silenced. Don't believe me? Try it for yourselves. Watch what happens. Haven't you ever noticed how around election time, if you speak out publicly against our president or say anything against our president, you either get shadow banned or your post gets removed. And you want to know why social media hates me? It ain't because of that shit that I did. It's because I don't fucking listen to society. I don't follow the social norms. I go against the grain. I see everything going wrong. I see how great the U.S. could be if we just stop fucking worrying about everyone else and worry about our own fucking shit. If we stop helping other countries like North Korea and say fuck you to goddamn Putin and just kick his ass or fucking wipe out Kim Jong-un and free his people we'd be in a much better place. Hey, here's an idea. How about we wipe out Russia's nukes? But again, how about this? How about everybody fucking take away their fucking nukes? All the leaders sit the fuck down, smoke a goddamn bowl, and actually fucking chill the fuck out. You know, Everybody's always talking about how, oh, we're always, we're different. Oh, this, you got Russia over here with Putin saying, oh, I'm, I'm better than everyone else. I can do whatever I want. No, the fuck you can't, you dumb fuck. You're a fucking gangster who became president of Russia, motherfucker. That's all you are. You're a pissed off, bitter old man that just happened to become the leader of Russia. And now because you think you're big and bad, you can take over other people's countries. Nigga, fuck you, man. You're a punk-ass bitch with a fucking nuke. That's all you are. And Biden, your ass don't even need to be president. Your ass needs to be back in the goddamn motherfucking nursing home. You're too goddamn fucking old for this shit. You're always falling asleep at a podium. Always doing stupid shit. You can't even form a coherent sentence properly. And you're allowing these fucking rich bitch fucking morons that actually are the real fucking leaders of the country that are actually the ones running this shit. You're letting them run you. Which, quite frankly, I'm glad that you ain't going to be president for much longer because your fucking son's a goddamn drug addict and got caught doing stupid shit. Not that you give a fuck. And Kim Jong-un, your punk ass needs to go the fuck to hell. 
You're a bitch ass fuck boy with a shitty ass fucking haircut. You look like you ain't seen the sunlight in over a motherfucking decade. You keep your people locked up like some fucking sick animals when they're human motherfucking beings. And what I want to know to the U.S. government, why it's y'all motherfuckers going after Kim Jong-un, nuking his punk ass, and freeing the people of North Korea? I mean, we've all seen the videos. He literally treats his people like fucking shit. They don't have technology. They don't have shit. North Korea is literally living in the motherfucking dark ages. So why the fuck ain't we doing anything about his ass? We say that we're about helping people. No, we're fucking not. If the U.S. is really about helping people, like I said, why don't we fucking kill Kim Jong-un or arrest him or do whatever you need to do and free the fucking people in North Korea? Do you know how many motherfuckers get killed there every day for having a fucking Bible? Yeah, a fucking Bible, dude. They get killed over a fucking book from church. Or over anything that they're not allowed to motherfucking have. And North Korea puts on this thing of, Oh, we're, we're a good country and we treat our people good. No the fuck you don't. You treat your people like fucking shit. Worse than shit, honestly. And you know it's funny? People always bitch and complain to the government about how the U.S. is in debt and blah, blah, blah. Well, here's an idea. How about we stop fucking giving Russia fucking ways to try to fucking nuke everybody with these fucking nuclear warheads. We defund Putin, get rid of his ass or kill him or do whatever you got to do to get rid of him. Get somebody in there that can run Russia properly that does care about his people and wants to see Russia do good and hey how about this how about we take Kim Jong-un we get rid of him we take away his money and his nukes and we take all that money that we have given them and we use it to pay off our motherfucking debt we need to stop worrying about other motherfucking people and start worrying about ourselves because guess what? The motherfucker that worries about himself is usually the one that is successful. Our government is a fucking joke, dude. There are a bunch of fucking rich assholes running the country how they see fit. Those rich motherfuckers up there yeah, there may be a few of them that care about the country, but not all of them. The rest of them, they don't give a fuck. They just after this. Money. There are a bunch of rich, overpaid, lazy assholes that do nothing but sit on their fucking asses while the rest of us down here, like myself and my family, work our motherfucking asses off to try to make a little bit of money just to get by. Why do you think so many people are becoming entrepreneurs and doing their own shit their own motherfucking way? Why do you think so many people are moving out of America and going to other fucking countries? Because the U.S. is a fucking joke right now. The rest of the world is fucking laughing at us. And you want to know why they're laughing at us? Because while well, they got their shit together and doing good, we ain't got our shit together for jack fucking shit. Because being run by a bunch of overpaid, fucking retarded, dumbass fucking rich idiots. We need somebody in fucking office that is willing to say, fuck you to these goddamn motherfuckers. Get rid of everybody out of the fucking government. 
and get new people in there that actually give a fuck about this goddamn country, dude. You want to know what I would do if I was president? First thing I'd fucking do, get rid of every motherfucking body in that goddamn office that's corrupt as fuck. First off, I would fire, actually no, I wouldn't even keep the ones that are trustworthy. I would get rid of every motherfucking body. And I would bring on every single person in government myself that I know is trustworthy, that I know has the country's best interests at heart, that isn't out for fucking money or monetary gain. And I would fucking hire those motherfuckers to help run shit. Because those are the motherfuckers that are going to get this country somewhere. Those are the motherfuckers that we need to have on fucking board. Those are the motherfuckers that are going to steer this country in the right direction the way it should have been this whole goddamn motherfucking time. So yeah, I am embarrassed of Biden. I am ashamed of our fucking government. And you know what's funny? They try to say that we have freedom of speech. No the fuck we don't. If we truly had freedom of speech, or any freedom at all, for that matter, we can fully say what we want and not fucking worry about being arrested. But you know what's sad? There's too many people out here that are a bunch of fucking pussies that don't want to speak their mind because they're afraid of Oh, the government's going to come after me. Fuck the government. They're a bunch of overpaid rich assholes. That's what they really are. And guess what? If the government wants to come after me for this, I don't give a fuck, dude. Because guess what? They can't touch me because guess what? That's one of my human rights. At birth, you have human rights, motherfuckers. And one of them, you are allowed to speak your mind. Without repercussion. You are allowed to speak your mind. Without being in any kind of trouble. So if you really think about it, are we truly free? Or are we slaves to a fucking corrupt system that's a fucking joke? Are we, are we really free or are we slaves to the motherfucking fat ass fucking rich guys that get to cruise around on their trillion dollar yachts and travel around the world wherever, whenever they want, however they want. Like you ever wonder where your tax money is really fucking going? Have they ain't even going to where it should be going. Half of it's going to these rich fucking assholes at the end of the day. The rich get rich and the poor stay poor. Why do you think there needs to be more motherfuckers like me out there that are actually speaking up? And yeah, don't get me wrong, there are a few of y'all that are speaking up against this shit about what's going on. And don't get me wrong, I applaud y'all for that. I do. But what about the motherfucking people? Like us. The lower class motherfuckers like my family. That are out here working their goddamn ass off to the bone. Every goddamn motherfucking day of the week. There's so much shit we could be doing. But y'all motherfuckers up there in the office are too fucking lazy to do shit. You're too goddamn lazy. You're always worried about what this country thinks of us. Oh, what about this country? What, what do they think of us, man? Fuck what the rest of the world thinks of us, dude. If they don't like us, they don't like us. Who cares? Who gives a fuck? Now, I'm not saying I hate every other country besides the U.S. No. Some of my best friends and some of my closest friends are from other countries. But maybe if y'all motherfuckers sit down... 
and actually get rid of the bad motherfuckers out of these fucking countries that are being run by bad people that don't need to be in power, like Putin and Kim Jong-un. Get rid of them and bring in people into power that actually give a fuck and want to see their countries thrive and do fucking better. Maybe then we can get on the right track to where, guess what? No country will be in debt. We'll all be cool with each other. There won't be no fucking worry about being a fucking nuclear war. And guess what? At the end of the day, everybody can be fucking cool with everybody. Gee, what a fucking thought, huh? What a fucking thought. But no, our government don't give a fuck, do ya? You guys don't give a fuck, do you? You don't want to give a fuck about one thing, getting paid. It's fucking sad. And you know that, ladies and gentlemen? That right there is why we need to get rid of all these motherfuckers that are in office, that are in power. We need to get rid of them, get rid of these leaders in other countries that are bad motherfuckers that clearly have no fucking real mental capacity of being a decent human being and actually put people into power that actually give a fuck that aren't out for monetary gain or are on a fucking goddamn power trip like Putin cause that's all Putin is he's a power hungry fucking gangster with an ego issue that's all he is He's a gangster with an ego issue who's on a fucking power trip. That thinks that just because he's got a bunch of nukes, he's a big badass motherfucker. Well, here's an idea. Take away his nukes. Get rid of him. I don't care if you gotta kill him. I don't care if you gotta fucking get rid of him and throw him in prison for the rest of his life. Get rid of the motherfucker and get somebody in power that actually gives a fuck about... Russia, that wants to be cool with everybody. Somebody who will not go after other countries for no goddamn fucking reason. Because I'll tell y'all right now, Putin is going to be the fucking reason why this whole world gets fucking nuked and the human race will be fucking dead. If you guys don't get your ass in gear and kill the son of a bitch. He's going to be the fucking reason why this world gets fucking nuked. So yeah, U.S., you just got exposed by me. And less than what? Half hour? And less than 20 minutes, you just got exposed. So to the U.S. government, if you want to try to arrest me, I'd love to see you try because I have rights. As a human being, I can say what I fucking want. And there's not a goddamn thing that you can fucking say to stop me. Because if you do, you're going against the Constitution. And you're going against my human rights. So to the U.S. government, do fucking better. Get rid of fucking Kim Jong-un. Get rid of Putin. Get rid of fucking Sleepy Joe. And put people in power in your government, in your cabinet. All these people that you got in power, a lot of them don't give a fuck. So, why don't you start getting rid of these motherfuckers that aren't trustworthy. That are only out for monetary gain. And actually put people in power that want to see the country go in a good direction. That wants to see the world go in a good direction. Because if y'all don't do something right now, guess what? Psycho Putin over here, who's got his fucking hand on the big red fucking button, is going to be the death of the fucking planet because he's going to fucking start a nuclear war. Which is going to kill all of humanity. And guess what? The human race will be wiped out.
Didn't think about that, did you, motherfuckers? No, you didn't. Because you only give a fuck about one thing. Money. That's all you've ever given a fuck about is money. It's sad. You guys have the power to stop these motherfuckers. But yet... You don't do shit. So yeah. America is not the good country that it claims to be. It's really not. Right now, the U.S. is a fucking joke. Mm -mm -mm. You know, our founding fathers would be embarrassed of all y'all motherfuckers. They really would. The founding fathers of the U.S. would be so embarrassed with y'all right now. It's truly tragic. Mm-mm-mm. Y'all are a joke. It's sad. Uh...